and mathematically there's a you can represent that with a very tidy formula and and the spring has what's called a spring constant it tells you how how tight it is okay you know, how much energy that takes so uh, so we think of this as a spring at, but here's the catch as you pull them so much apart mm -hmm. at the moment it snaps right you have pumped so much energy into, into pulling it, it apart pulling it apart that that energy in that instant becomes two more quarks, and now you have two pairs of two quarks. Yo, that, that that's it's that diabolical. Is crazy, it's diabolical. That is crazy. It's diabolical. So the energy that you because I take it takes energy separating yes, the quarks equals mc squared. Right, right, right. At the moment, there's enough energy for each, each one, one to, to create another, another quark. quark. It, it snaps, and now once again. You got two. You got two quarks. You got hydro quark. <laughs> nice. You got two quarks of each one. Right. Right. So quarks are diabolical in this way. That's okay. So he knows that as you're falling down, the tidal force is going to stretch, stretch you. Right. Let's give an energy to the quark. Right. So he's wondering if there's some balance point down in there. But now here's the thing, though. As the quark gets pulled apart, okay, what happens is there is there is a point of breaking so wouldn't you just start making infinite quarks it kind of seems that way because Chuck. that's really Chuck, forget that the equilibrium we're not looking at Chuck. equilibrium we're talking about the creation of the quark so what you would have is two quarks four quarks four quarks eight quarks eight quarks it was just, it would and that would just runaway. keep going because it would continually and would take over the universe that's it Ooh. Ooh. It's your world. I'm just a quark living in 